The carpal tunnel is a space in our wrist. This space is created by the various bones in the wrist and tissue above these bones. Actions which involve repeated movements like in sports, like in housewives, like in carpenters and most commonly those who have repeated use of mouse, mobile, for the computers are prone to have this carpal tunnel syndrome. Hello, I am Dr. Ramesh Ranka, Chief Orthopedic Surgeon at Ranka Hospital, Pune. Today we are going to talk about the carpal tunnel. This space being narrow has a lot of structures passing through it. The tendons which are responsible for the movement of our fingers are passing beneath through this tunnel. At the same time, one of the most sensitive nerves in our body, that is the median nerve, is also passing through this tunnel. The signs and symptoms of this carpal tunnel syndrome are experiencing pain in the fingers, tingling and numbness in the fingers, pinprick sensation in the fingers. Often, we come across patients who cannot sleep in the night. They get up in the middle of the night and shake their hands to relieve the pain. So how is this diagnosis of carpal tunnel syndrome done? Most important is a clinical evaluation by an orthopedic surgeon. The orthopedic surgeon will perform two tests. One is the tunnel sign and the second is the phalanx test. The tunnel sign can in fact be performed by the patient himself. So this is the wrist joint. The carpal tunnel is over here and the nerve is passing beneath the tunnel. If you will tap this with your middle finger in this area where the nerve is passing, you will get tingling, numbness or pinprick like sensation in the tips of your fingers. The second test is a phalanx test. Phalanx test involves bending the wrist downwards in this fashion holding the elbows up to the chest level and try and keep this position for a minute. During this minute, you will find an increase in pain, tingling sensation, numbness coming into your fingers. When this thing is happening in the period of 60 seconds, that means the test is positive and this indicates that you are suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. Now, after having said this, how do I confirm? The best test available today is a EMG NCV study, what we call as a nerve conduction study. It is done by a neurologist and the second is an MRI. So these are two conclusive tests. What are the treatment options available? Number one is splinting. That means we apply a splint and give rest to the wrist. Second is doing certain tests like diabetes and thyroid. People having diabetes and thyroid are known to have uh, carpal tunnel syndrome and therefore treating them, controlling these two uh, parameters is essential. So how do we treat them? The treatment option number one is to provide splinting that is give wrist uh, support to give rest to the wrist. The second is performing tests, especially for thyroid and diabetes. If these tests are abnormal, you need to treat them. Number three, giving good physiotherapy under supervision. Physiotherapy like ultrasound, IFT are helpful. Number four, giving a local injection of steroid under sonography guidance by an orthopedic surgeon can often help you in relieving pain. Lastly, when all the above treatment fails to give adequate pain relief, surgery should be considered. Surgery is usually done under local anesthesia. The scar of the surgery is usually not visible. And the surgery involves relieving the pressure in the carpal tunnel by incising the ligament which covers the tunnel. Thank you. And for any more information, please do not hesitate to call or visit us at Ranka Hospital, Pune. Thank you.